Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own mesh logo for your own store in Second Life and people on Second Life charge up to 18 to 20 thousand lemons and even more for custom mesh logo. Yes, for that price they make you a light neon but when you start with Second Life you don't need all that shebang and it's a lot of money for a logo and some other charge between 3 and 5 to 10k for a regular like logo without animation. But I'm going to show you how to do it for just 11 linens yourself. You don't have to be an expert or have any knowledge about a blender. I'm going to show you how to do it. Just follow my steps and you're going to have your own mesh logo in less than 5 minutes. And by the way, blender is free. I'll provide you with the link in the description down below. So let's get started. Step number 1, we click on general. We hit delete. And now we need to make a text. So for that, we click shift a then we have this pop-up and we click here on the text and here we have the text and now we have to make it straight for that we press r x at the same time and 9 and 0 so then we have a text and press enter okay when you press the middle button on your mouse you can see here directions make it closer so this text is really really flat so we make it thicker we go here on the text side where it says a and we go to geometry and here we go uh, press 0 0.05 or however thick you want it and there's already thicker and it's 3d so now we need a font for that you click also in a here on the bottom is the font and you press here and there are already so many default ones but since I have a custom one that I like, you can download it on Google. Just type it in font for uh, Blender. So then once you download it, you go here, picture. I have it in here. My personal favorite one. Now I press tab and erase it. And type in the brand name you have. And press tab again. And then we have it. It's our custom mesh logo. So now that we need it for Second Life, make sure it is selected. Of course, we go click on object and we go convert on mesh. And then we're gonna go on here this tool. Click add modifier. We're gonna click on decimate and, and then we're gonna go here around 50%. And then I'll click this arrow, hit apply. And if you're happy with it, you can export it file. And then we click export as Colada as a day file. What you can also do is click on file and click save as. So you can come back later and work on it, edit it. So yeah. So now we go on second life and you click on your inventory. Click on the plus sign, upload, model. And you click on your day file and here you have your mesh logo so here you can rename it up here and then click generate norms and now we have to calculate it to see the price the prim so it's 11 linens it is one linen packed what's freaking perfect once you're happy with everything you click on upload and then here it is in your folder and now I'm going to put it on the ground and see how it looks. And uh, here it is. It's your custom mesh logo. And it will look definitely good in your store. It's like 11 linens to upload. And it does not have any animations. It's simple. But like for 11 linens, you made it yourself. You did not spend so much money for other creators to make it for you. You can click also on stretch and stretch it, make it thin, make it thicker, like do whatever you prefer. You can also give it a little bit of glow if you wanted to have some extra. Like here, you can make it as glowy as you want. And you don't even have to have any knowledge on like blender, put in zero. And you can also recolor it, add different colors as you can see here. You can add different textures as well. I'm going to give it white because it will look good on my black wall. 
and I'll give you a bonus tip so when you put it in your store I would recommend you to duplicate it click on shift up hold it and move this one this one you click on color on black and then you put a pass it down here transfer transparency and make sure you put your logo a little bit more forward and that's all the way to the wall so that you can put this part to the wall and then you have a shadow and it's gonna make it look even better and even more like 3d and you can move it however you want it so it looks like it have a shadow and it looks really good as you can see here it's giving it more dimension and it makes it look way better and so much better so this is it for this video guys i hope it was helpful and i hope you were able to make all mesh logo under five minutes and as always feel free to leave a like my subscribe in i see the next video bye